Just visit the new calgaryherald.com with more of everything worth knowing. A memorial stands next to the road where 22-year-old Juan Carlos de Quina was shot and killed in December of 2008. Mr. De Quina, he was a good kid. He was working, he'd gone to school, he lived with his family, he made charitable contributions. He was a, a good, um, fine young man. He, you know, he's a pillar in the community. Police now reveal that Dakina was joined by at least two people who got into his vehicle and that two shots were fired inside the vehicle. Dakina was found dead in the driver's seat. Uh, Mr. Dakina engaged two people, at least two people, at this intersection and he was shot while he was in his vehicle and that led to his death. Take it easy, all right? I'll have the money for you. Listen, just we're in control here, not you, buddy. Police say they are revealing the new information and taping a Crime Stoppers of the incident in the hopes that someone with information about the crime will come forward. At times, information comes quickly. At other times, that information comes a little slower. Uh, we haven't received a lot of information in this investigation. So now we're doing the Crime Stoppers reenactment, and again, we're making that plea to the public for information in this investigation. We are quite certain that uh, whoever is responsible for this offense would have spoke to somebody, and we're asking those people to share that information with us. Police believe the two suspects likely left Dakina's blazer and fled the scene in the early morning hours in a second vehicle that had followed them. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.